Hello guys, hello gentlemen. Nice hello. to meet hello, you. Hello Florian. We do an uh, interview for the Sonic Sedusa with uh, Front 242 and uh, it's such a pleasure to have you here guys and uh, diving right into the questions. Um, so, um, how long are you staying at the festival? Are you arriving, are you, are you going back tomorrow or are, do you have time to check it out like something with the festival, maybe the beach or something? No, I think we're gonna go. We we play late, and yeah. So until one o'clock in the morning. So uh, tomorrow morning, everybody goes. Uh, we have some of our technicians who have other jobs, so yeah. it's quite complicated. We we will we cannot enjoy like yeah. the full festival organization. Sad enough. All right, all right. But I hope you enjoyed the time you were here. So actually, sure. yeah, we're looking yeah. forward. <laughs> um, you've been uh, and you will be again on tour with Nitzer app. Um, you played four shows in January 23 and uh, two shows in upcoming shows in November. Um, how were the, the past shows so far? Did you enjoy it? Being yeah, the... yeah. Well, the idea was actually to do this double bill uh, to celebrate our 40th anniversary. Yes. But COVID uh, made it a little bit uh, difficult, so uh, we postponed. But uh, now that we are here and we are doing these dates, it's just... Uh, an amazing pleasure to have the, those two bands together. The atmosphere mm -hmm. uh, backstage is just super cool. Nice. We get along very well. We know each other for a long, long time. Um, the two crews are really uh, getting you know together and, and working good. And, and we are sold out everywhere. So the audience is really there for that. So nice. yeah, we enjoy it yeah. pretty much, yes. Nice. Okay, going to an oh yeah, I'm sorry. Do you want to? No, no, no uh, it's okay. No, no, I right. didn't want an answer. You All right. can go ahead. Um, I heard a rumor which is circulating out there. So, um, is this maybe your last tour in general or forever? Well, we uh, we have an we have not announced anything, mm -hmm. so uh, it stays a rumor. Mm -hmm. uh, but we are slowly thinking about. Uh, going stopping at some point yeah uh, we will do an announcement and prepare that properly if if it happens mm -hmm. uh, because the band's got like already a, a, a long career yes. and uh, we think it's better to leave the stage and leave the scene while we still have that energy and while people still have a, a good image of the band uh, yeah. especially life yeah nice so could we expect maybe uh, some new material then before that we 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 already play a few new songs mm -hmm. uh, since a year and a half now since we're back uh, after covid and uh, we in well with the intention is there to in the next few weeks few months to play probably uh, one or two more new songs we have we have stuff we have material um and but that's about uh, that's about it we are working on on material and nice. hopefully something will come out of that. But we have no pressure. Yes. Uh, we have no um, record deal. It's it's all in our hands. So we we have the intention to do something. But depending on what uh, what we do, if it's good enough, uh, if we are satisfied with what we yeah. do, we'll uh, we'll put it out yeah. one way or another. Yes. Nice. Yeah. Because I was reading about that in a twenty two interview that you are working on uh, on some new material. That's right. Yes. That was we curious. Are to ask, of course, yeah, of course, yeah. So, so yeah, I was curious to ask. Mm -hmm. um, since you are the pioneers of EBM, how, in your opinion, has the genre developed over the last years, or maybe changed over the last years? What did you witness? Well, to me, it's it became pretty much a recipe. Mm -hmm. It became pretty much a real genre. Yeah, like uh, it's hard to like rock or, or other yeah. type. Of, it's hard to say how how rock evolves. Of course, this there are always like what I think is it are interesting is the crossover between some dance scene and the EBMs. Yes. And so they are like different uh, directions that are taken. Yeah. So it keeps it alive uh, in a way. It's still a genre where a lot of men are performing, which is nice. Um, to the contrary to uh, DJ or techno stuff, you really have real bands. So I think the evolution is is very slow for the moment. It became really, like you say, a genre. It, I personally, I don't hear that many new stuff. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, I don't hear mm -hmm. some good stuff. Yeah. You know? 
That would be the next question, actually. So yeah, I would I would just add yeah. that, uh, as Patrick said, there's a lot of bands producing EBM, but uh, we never really have the um, the chance to have a band taking some risks. Yeah. They just apply the recipe, as Patrick said, and they they keep on going in that direction. So sometimes it sounds very good. Uh, they're a good band on, on, on stage, but there's no surprise. Yeah, many uh, bands play it safe mm-hmm. nowadays. Yes, yeah. I, would, I would say yeah. that, especially yeah. in the EBM scene. Yeah. Um, and as Patrick said, if you go a little bit uh, outside the EBM, where people try to mix... Um, not so especially dance music, but something else. Yeah. But it's it's where it's difficult to find a, 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 a good band producing something exciting and a bit different yeah. right now. Yeah, like maybe crossovers, but yeah, noise you know, music, just, for instance, yeah, or yeah. industrial. Yeah, 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 exactly. So that's yeah. that's it. Yeah, so you know, grabbing the apples from every genre a bit and just let yeah. it let it influence your yeah, style sure. or the forthcoming. Yeah, okay. So um, thank you very much. I have two uh, two things, or like uh, uh, like a little entertaining challenge uh, uh, for the end. It's like um, I picked up some uh, very British and funny um, uh, phrases or words, and uh, maybe we can both guess together what they're meaning if you're up for it. Okay. So there's the first word. Do you know the word um, to be flabbergasted? I'm flabbergasted. Absolutely not. <laughs> Never heard it. It, it, it sounds funny. like a fart or something. Yeah, like it. yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It sounds like I'm, I'm getting. I'm getting I've got gas out. in my yeah, belly or something. Everything yeah. Out. yeah, actually, it is kind of like that because uh, it is to be extremely surprised about something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I found that very funny. Um, then there's another one called "I'm a bamboozled." Do you know that one? Jesus, no. Jesus, no. That's actually to fool someone in a very deceitful way. Wow. So um, I got bamboozled or something. And those those words are in the dictionary? Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Jesus. They're actually, yeah, yeah, it's pretty funny. It's not slang. It's... No, I think it's I think in slang as well, but actually I, I just Googled them because I thought I know the word flabbergasted because mm-hmm. sometimes I, I use that as well. And a friend of mine was uh, saying that one day and I thought like, what the hell is that? Uh-huh. Yeah, so then um, the pre-last one, um, I'm nincompoop. <laughs> poop, I know what a poop is, but income? Poop? Like a like a, 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 a nincom poop, if I spell it it's right. It's got something so, yeah. with ninja or something? Or... <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's not <laughs> Japanese or Asian? Hi, nincom poop. <laughs> yeah, something like that. No, it's actually um, a very foolish or stupid person. Uh, okay. So when you, you know, when somebody is... Just, We're like, going to have to remember that because that's shit. the one we can use a lot. You're a nincom poop. <laughs> <laughs> something like that, yeah. And the last one, uh, last but not least, uh, that's the one uh, to canoodle. You can canoodle. It's so actually it's a very, very yes. Yeah, it's actually very nice. Noodle is like spaghetti, and canoe is like well, uh, actually boat. Yeah, yeah, it can actually actually be translated as well because it's it's the way like to cuddle or kiss amorously. Oh, nice. So when you you know when you go and you say like, um, do you want to canoodle with me? Yeah, or something like that. That's sweet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, that's but that's probably very old people using those words. I think so. <laughs> I, I think so as well. Yeah, I think so. But that's yeah. That's I will keep that in mind as well. It's nice to have yeah. some humor in an interview. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Cool. Okay, guys. Thank okay. you so much, and enjoy the show. And uh, you too. Best of mm. luck. Thank you very much. Okay. And uh, it was nice to meet you. It was nice. nice okay. You. Thank you, everybody. Front two, four two.